Hi everyone, in today's session, I'm going to explain what hardware asset management is and how your organization can benefit from it. So what is HAM? HAM involves overseeing of physical assets from the moment they are requested and procured until they are eventually retired and disposed of. HAM includes managing warranties, contract and vendor agreements. It also ensures that physical assets are properly tracked and managed throughout their entire life cycle. In the absence of a HAM program, organizations face several challenges. Inventory management, without accurate record, it is impossible to know what assets are available in stock. Ownership clarity, identifying which assets belong to the organization versus employees becomes difficult. Asset location, tracking the location of asset is nearly impossible, which can disrupt business operations. System support, it is hard to determine which system or business services are supported by which assets. User accountability, not knowing who is using specific assets, arising security risk and accountability issue. Value assessment without tracking, it is difficult to measure the true asset provided to to the organization. Hardware asset management includes devices such as computers, laptops, servers, network switches, monitors, printers, mobile phones, IP phones, hard drives, routers, and firewall. These assets are referred to as tangible assets because they are physical and can be touched. Now that we have defined hardware asset management, you might be wondering how this integrates with the ServiceNow platform. ServiceNow offers application and module that enable comprehensive tracking of hardware asset throughout every stage of their life cycle. To gain a solid understanding of how the ServiceNow platform ties into the life cycle of a hardware asset, let's go through a stage of a typical asset. In this example, we will focus on a desktop. So the first stage is planning stage. This is the most crucial stage of the asset life cycle. During this stage, management decide whether to purchase, lease or reuse existing asset to meet the organization need. For an example, a request is made for a new desktop as a company employee is being onboarded. Second is the acquisition stage. This stage involves the procurement department going through a formal process to acquire a new asset, typically via purchase order. For an example, let's suppose a purchase order for the desktop is issued to a vendor and the desktop is delivered to an organization. The IT asset management department receives the asset and enters into the asset repository. Now the third stage is the deployment stage. At this stage, newly purchased or existing assets are deployed into operation, often initiated by a service request from an end user. For an example, since the desktop was requested for a new employee, it is configured by the IT department and then given to an end user. Next comes the management state. This is the lengthiest stage covering various activities while the asset is in use within the organization. The asset management team ensures the accuracy of data in the asset repository, including the location and the ownership of asset. For example, the desktop can be re reused for another employee or used by the original end user for its entire useful life. Assuming to be five years in this case. Now the final stage is retirement and disposition stage. This stage involves the retirement and disposable of asset when it reaches the end of its useful life and no longer provides value to the organization. Typically an ITAD vendor will collect and either recycle or destroy the asset. For an example, the desktop is retired, placed into an asset management stockroom and then finally disposed by an ITAD vendor. 
This overview highlights the life cycle of a hardware asset. The advantage is that every stage can be effectively managed in service now. In my next post, we will explore the demo instance that will enable you to track an asset from acquisition to disposal.